Hey everyone, welcome to Golf Tips in 90 Seconds or Less with me, Tyler Dice. This video is going to be on how to control your distances better with your wedges. So first thing is, to be really, really good with your distances, you need to be, have a consistent setup, right? So consistent setup is the key and the foundation you're going to build this off of. Next, you're going to want to make sure that you picture yourself as a clock. And I got this from Dave Pels in his book, and it's really, really good. And I don't know if he learned it from anybody, but he gets all the credit from me because that's who I learned it from. But so you picture yourself as the face of a clock, and your left arm is the hour hand. And so as you swing, that left arm is going to point to different hours, right? So we set up at six, and seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on, right? And each hour you hit corresponds to a certain yardage. And then what I want you to do is choke down a half inch or an inch, whatever you prefer. Just go down and then have the same thing, okay? Seven, eight, nine, ten. And each one of those will be at different yardage. So with that same setup with one club, you could have a seven, eight, nine, ten o'clock. So that's four yardage, four yardages with one grip. Choke down an inch, that's four more. Each club gets you eight different yardages. So it's pretty nifty to see how these things play out. But when you wanna, you know, when you wanna get yourself you're really dialed in, you need to have the right system in place to do it. And this system will work wonders for you. So nail the setup, get really, really solid with your setup, get really consistent with it, and then get some practice in, swinging the club to different you know, times in the clock, jot down those, those numbers, and take them to the course with you. Thanks for listening. That's all I got for you today. We'll see you on the next video.